Do 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 do. Welcome to another episode of Meet the Am Family, where letters come together to make words. Oh, family. hi, honey. It sure has been a long day of us being out there working on word families. Man, am I tired. Oh, hi, A. I am so tired, too. But it's so special to be a part of a word family because we can help lots of kids make lots of different words. What do you mean? How do we help kids make words? Oh, don't blow a gasket there, buddy. You see how you are. B for bam. I mean, I know some people call you Hulk, but here in our house, we call you the letter B, and you make the sound B. And when you come stand right next to me and my honey, look at what word we make. B, am, bam. Oh, I like that word. Hulk, bam. Oh, my. He knocked me over. That's not cool. I can't make a whole lot of words without standing up. Oh, all right. See, kids, that's how we can help people make new words. Me and my pal A over here stick together and we make am. But anytime a new letter comes to the front, we make a whole new word. Let's try it again with another one of our friends. Oh, who do we have over here? Oh, hi, everybody. I am letter R. What happens when I come? Hmm. Er, am. Ram, am. In fact, I'm gonna scram. <laughs> oh, ooh, look at me. I'm letter P. When I come over, P Am. Oh, Pam, that's my name. That's why I have a P. Ha <laughs> ha, that makes sense. Hey, what about down here? I'm letter H. How do I fit in? Well, come on and check it out. All right. Am. Ham. Oh my gosh, that's perfect because that's what I was going to make everybody for lunch today. That sound good? I've been working at the Culinary Institute and ham is my favorite. My turn. I'm going to come up here from taking a bath and let's see what we get. Hmm. K am. Well, that's not a word. Well, I wonder, could somebody else help us out and turn cam into a word that I've heard before? Oh, me down here. Don't ever let me go. Ha <laughs> get it? Let it go. I'm Elsa. All right, let's see what happens when I come right here next to next to the beast or the letter A. Oh, well, that's kind of slippery. K -l -am. Clam. Oh, we did it. We made another word. All right. Well, I think our kids know about this at home. What do you want them to do about it? Well, Hulk, it's funny that you mentioned it because I'm hoping that kids will start playing with word families at home. Playing with word families? You want people to dress up their dolls with letters? Well, I mean, they could. That's super fun. You could see how many words you could make. Uh, I don't know. I don't really like that idea. Okay. Well, what if you guys made a storybook of all the AM words you could find? You could draw pictures and make it into a really cool book to read to us later. Mm, all right. That sounds kind of cool. Tell me more. Well, let's go over to our favorite witchy teacher, Annie, and see what ideas she has. Take it away, Annie. Hey, thanks, Mermaid. I really do love thinking of creative ways to practice skills, and if there's a way for me to get some art in, man, I am all about it. So last night, I was thinking about your family and all of the incredible words that you can make just when you have that one part, am, yam, Ham, scram, blam, so many. And I started thinking about all my favorite ones. And so I drew a picture of each one of them just because, you know, like I like to doodle. Let me show you what I made. And then I thought, okay, well, I've got these cool pictures. So what else could I do? What if I turned them into a story and wrote a book? Do you want to do that with me? I'm going to show you how I turn this into a story. It's kind of like a writing workshop lesson with art all about a skill. Look at that. And then I could read it to maybe and all the kids that I might see someday. Before I start writing a story, I have to think, what's going to happen? I have these great pictures, but I need to put them in an order. Hmm. All right, let's see. Pam and Sam were going to have a picnic. They were excited to eat their ham and jam sandwich. When all of the sudden they saw a ram, ah! they screamed, we better scram. Now that I said my story out loud, 
and I know the order of events and where my pictures are gonna go, it's time to make some sentences to match my pictures. So my first sentence was something like, Pam and Sam were having a picnic, right? Okay, I'm gonna say that again. Sam and Pam were having a picnic. Okay, so now I need to be able to write those words, right? And I know I'm focusing on that am word family. So anytime I hear it, I'm gonna make sure it's spelled A-M. Okay, it helps that I have labels on my pictures already too. All right, so I'm gonna have you come closer. All right, Sam is the first word I wanna, or Pam is the first word I wanna write. It's already here, so that one's pretty easy. I'm gonna start with a capital P, because names always have a capital letter. Am, there's that am word family, right? Pam and. And is a sight word I should know in a snap. That one's easy. A, and. Pam and, oh, there's Sam. I know how to write it because I labeled it, but even if I didn't, I'm going to tap it out. Sam. I don't even have to do all the sounds because I can use that word family. Pam and Sam, there's another am, were were. That's a sight word too, but it's kind of a tricky one. So if I ever get stuck, I want to make sure I pull out my sound card. You should have pictures of these at home and maybe even have one on your wall, or maybe you made one in our first lesson that we posted a while ago. All right, so wuh, wuh, this is how it starts, were. Oh, there it is. I'm going to match the wuh sound to the beginning of watch, and that tells me that's a W. Okay, so I'm going to write it. Wuh, Er, having. Oh, hand says that's what I need. Ah, ing. Pam and Sam were having a picnic. I'm gonna break that word into two. Ready? Picnic. Let's do that first syllable. P ik. Oh, okay. P just like in Pam it says P. Ick. Mm, ick. Pam and Sam are having a picnic, period, because that's the end of the sentence, okay? Now I'm going to write about their neck sandwich. I'll see you back in a second to show you how it looks, and you can start thinking about your story at home. Okay, now my whole story is done. Let's see how it looks. Pam and Sam were having a picnic. They were excited to eat a ham and jam sandwich when all of the sudden they saw a ram. We better scram, they shouted and ran. Now that I've written my story, I'm just going to cut it up and put it into a book. If you've made one at home, maybe you already did it on paper that you could just staple or tape together. And then when it's done, you could read it to people in your family. I know I'm going to read it to maybe. I bet she will really like it. Oh, great. Well, this story is called Meet the Am Family. Okay. The Tales of Word Families Am Edition. Okay. Pam and Sam were having a picnic. They were excited to eat a ham and jam sandwich. Ew, who wants that? Definitely not me. <laughs> When all of the sudden, they saw a ram. We better scram, they shouted and ran. The end. Nice reading. Do you like word families? Yeah. I Do like you think this. you could make your own am word family story? Yeah. Okay. This is designed to be fun. Parents, you absolutely do not have to do this. And kids, if you want to do it, you don't even have to have fancy paper. You could just write it on Seesaw on the tablet or even just tell your story with words. What do you think, Mabes? Yeah, I like it. Um, All right. We're, ex oh. we're excited to see what you come up with. Happy writing. Bye, everybody. Happy writing. Make sure you send me what you got so I can see your AM Word Family stories.